to some of you, it just seems intuitive. Some speech is so hurtful, society's better off without it. People on both right and left tend to support free speech right up until it counts, which is to say when something finally offends them or scares them. Gert Wilders has been marked for death. That's the title of his new book. Marked for death because he said some things that people didn't like. He attacked Islam. And for that, he was put on trial in his country, Holland, where he's a member of parliament. Put on trial? Indeed, put on trial for um, three years, uh, a criminal trial even, because I made a short documentary called Fitna, and I uh, compared uh, the Koran uh, with uh, Mein Kampf. And, um, well, they took me to court. Uh, they charge you with group insult of people, yeah. incitement of hatred. And discrimination of uh, Muslims or Moroccan people that are immigrants in the Netherlands. Um, it was a terrible ordeal for three years' time. It cost me a lot of money, a lot of um, energy. Uh, as you said, I'm a member of parliament leading the third biggest party in the Netherlands. Fortunately, after three years, I was acquitted on all charges. But the point is, if you speak out against Islam, you will be marked for death, as my book is called. You will be banned from certain countries, as I experienced. And you will be um, put uh, um, in front of the benches for trial. So, for saying what you did, you took personal risks. Crazy religious fanatics want to kill you. You, when you go in public, wear a bulletproof vest. You're very careful about your own security. Uh, that's unfortunate. But it's another step where your own country, you don't have a First Amendment in Holland. Exactly. And this is, this is what we need. This is what we can learn from the United States. But free men and women should never be intimidated uh, or violently harassed for speaking the truth. If you don't agree with what I think and what I write, write your own article or start a debate or make your own movie. But to take somebody to court for his free speech um, or to threaten him with death is the worst thing that can happen in a free society. The writer Mark Stein says about you, in Amsterdam you're free to smoke marijuana and pick out a half-naked sex partner from the window of her shop but you could be put on trial for holding the wrong opinion about a bloke who died years ago. Well, this is uh, uh, exactly true. Anybody who dares to tell the truth and speak out uh, in favor of freedom and against the Islamization of our society gets the same tough deal. Some would say you just are way over the top. It's a dangerous ideology rather than a religion. I mean, there are two billion Muslims on earth and most are not trying to murder people. This is very true. I make a clear distinction between the people and the ideology. I have nothing against people. I have nothing against Muslims. And I acknowledge the fact that the majority of the Muslims are not uh, extremists, are not terrorists. It would be ridiculous even uh, only to state it. But there is a difference between the people and the ideology. I believe that the Islamic ideology should not be compared to other religions. It's not like Christianity or Judaism. It has to be compared to other ideologies, like communism or fascism. For instance, um, you are not free to but leave that Islam. But communism should be legal. Well, but you are not free to leave Islam. If somebody wants to leave Islam when he becomes an apostate, you are um, 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 eligible for death. You should be killed according to the Quran. This is not the case with Christianity or Judaism. This was the case with communism and fascism.